Curti Trades here and today I'm going to go over some of the issues with Subaru oil consumption that plagues a lot of their modern engines. I'm going to give you a little overview of what it is, how you can fix it, and some things to look out before you take your car to the dealer. Now this is a super common problem with the modern Subaru engines. That includes all their vehicles, the Impreza, the Crosstrek, the Outback, Forester, even the Legacy. When they are making these engines to be more fuel efficient, they like to make the tolerances a little bit more open. And when they make the tolerances a little bit looser in the engine it allows the pistons to move a little bit more freely and so your engine doesn't have as much friction so it makes more fuel efficient engines so they use less fuel when they're driving now the one downside to that is when it has less tight tolerances in the engine what it allows is it allows oil to bypass and get into the cylinders a little bit easier and that's where the oil goes it doesn't leak out of the engine it's not dripping it's not coming out of the seals it's burning in with the fuel. When your car burns fuel to make it go, it will burn a, just a tiny bit of oil and it will go out your tailpipe. And it's not enough where you'll notice blue smoke coming out of the back of the engine. It's just very minuscule amounts. And over time what happens is you'll start to lose oil. So you might be asking yourself, well, how does this affect me and how do I know that my car is having this issue? Because a lot of the cars that are effective do burn quite a bit of oil. And when do you know that it's too big of a problem and you should take it to the dealer to have it looked at? The way you'll know this is a problem is if your low oil light comes on in between oil changes. And that's the orange low oil level light indicator. If your red oil light comes on, that's a massive problem because your red oil light is for oil pressure. If that light ever comes on, you have to pull over immediately to make sure that you're not running your engine completely out of oil and causing severe engine damage. If the orange oil level light is coming on, it means that your oil level is down below the minimum value and you need to pull over quickly to check your oil level to see if you do have any oil left in the vehicle and to make sure you fill it up as quickly as you can. Because if, you're, if your car starts to get low on oil, then more damage can occur in the engine when it's driving. Even if it's not empty, if it's down below the normal amount, it can start to froth the oil in there and it, and it creates a lot of problems. So make sure your oil level is topped up. So how much oil is too much oil to be burning on one of these engines? And there's not really a set amount. Subaru sets it to about 1,000 miles to burn a quart. And you can tell by checking the oil level on your dipstick. There's two dots here on your dipstick and the top one is full and the bottom one is the min and when you get to a little bit lower than the minimum value that's when your low oil level light will come on. It's about one quart from the top dot to the bottom dot and so when you get low on oil you can kind of use this to measure how much oil you're burning. And you should check your oil level about once every two gas fill ups. Now there's a technical service bulletin that Subaru put out and it affects almost all the new Subaru models from 2012 on upwards. And what the technical service bulletin does is it will address the oil consumption issues. And they're, what they're gonna do, if you suspect that your car is burning too much oil, you're gonna take it into the Subaru dealer, they're gonna fill it up, make sure it's at the top line, and they're gonna ask you to drive a thousand miles. And if it doesn't burn more than a quart of oil in 1,000 miles, then they're not going to do the technical service bulletin fix for your vehicle. They're going to say that it's within spec. Even if it's burning a quart in 1,500 miles or 2,000 miles, if it does burn more than a quart in 1,000 miles, which is from the top dot to the bottom dot on the dipstick, then what they're going to do is they're going to replace the short block on your vehicle. And really the only fix for it is replacing the entire short block, which is where the cylinders are. And so they will replace your entire short block if it does consume more than a quart in 1,000 miles. Now, what's a common amount of oil to burn on these vehicles? And there really isn't a set amount, but I've heard almost everyone who owns one of these cars that they burn about a quart in three to 4,000 miles. So if you're experiencing that, it's pretty normal and there's not anything that Subaru is going to do to fix that. So what can you do to increase the length of time to fill up, have to fill up your car with oil between changes? Because that's really the main problem is that it's, it can be a little inconvenience for people to constantly have to add oil every couple thousand miles, especially if you drive a lot. The really, there's only two solutions to this problem. If it burns more than a quart in 1,000 miles, go to the dealer and have them replace your short block. It should fix the issue. If it burns less than that, then you're going to have to do something on your own because Subaru isn't really going to do anything for you. And the only other solution is adding a heavier weight oil. I've run 0W40 in my car for about 15,000 miles. It helped a little bit with consumption. Instead of it burning a quart in every 3,000 miles, it burned a quart in about every 4,000 miles, so that will help a little bit. 
I ran it for 15,000 miles. I didn't have any issues, no no codes popped up, no error lights or anything. I actually switched back because I have a little bit shorter commute now and I don't drive near as much as I used to. So I figured why not keep the traditional, the normal oil that it recommends in there. Um, so that's something you can try. Um, just make sure it's a full synthetic and it meets the specs that Subaru requires.